Gatsby, is it? I've been hearing about your vast newly acquired wealth and your attentions to my wife. So, I thought I would have you over to my equally large and fancy but imperceptibly more classy mansion for an awkward dinner. And Nick, have you met Jordan? She plays golf and is what kids will someday call a duff. Hey, yeah. Nice tam o' shanter. I'll drink your finger bowl if you don't want it. In the book, I actually go on a few dates with Jordan. We're gonna skip all that. Anyway, like I was saying, you're a trash because you earned your money a little bit more recently than me. What are you getting at? I'm saying I invited you over and sat you next to my wife to say, stay away from my wife. You know what we should do? Let's all drunk drive into Manhattan and get a hotel room and have the same conversation we're having here. I'm starting to think this isn't a very good book. I'd like to add another bit of pointless confusion that will make sense later. Let's everyone drive somebody else's car. Someone can take my coupe. I'm riding with Gatsby. I don't care which car. I'll take someone in Daisy's car. I don't think Daisy said you could drive her car. Tom, why don't you take Jay's car? Who's Jay? Gatsby. Okay, I've never heard anyone call him that. Look, if you're in your own car, you're in the wrong car. All right, you guys get gas. I gotta talk to this random mechanic's horny wife about some business. Wilson, you gonna need to fill her up. Wilson's wife, fill her up, get it? <laughs> I don't know what they do up there, but they sure do listen to Def Leppard pretty loud. So, have you seen any good movies lately? Well, we just saw a woman tied to railroad tracks five. Pretty similar to four. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, it looks like you guys are getting a head start on the depression here. Thanks for stopping by, Mr. Buchanan. Yeah, sure. Don't tell anyone how bad I look naked. Have fun raising my bastard. All right, let's head out. Wait, but first, I want to see if we're in the funny horn era. Aha, <laughs> <laughs> we are! <laughs> All right, Gatsby, you think you're so hot? Let me show you how a classy guy does classy stuff. Hello, room service. I'd like a bottle of your second most expensive champagne. And I'd like your most expensive bottle. Wow, walked right into that one. Okay, fine. Well, then let's see who has higher socks. Yeah! Whatever, Tom. None of that matters. Daisy's in love with me. In fact, she's never loved you. Oh, is that so? Well, I hear Gatsby didn't even fight in World War I. Wait, why is he calling it that? Is there gonna be another big war? I'm sorry, Tom. That's right. I'm in love with Daisy and she loves me, old sport. Would anyone like a deviled egg from a tea I had several days ago? Well, that was awful, but I sure do enjoy driving your car instead of you driving it, even though we came in a different car. Drunk. Don't forget, drunk. You're drunk driving my car. Gas and sandwiches. Get your gas and sandwiches. <gasps> oh, that must be Tom since I saw him in that car earlier. Tom! Tom, it's me! <laughs> Oh, no! Myrtle! Where will I ever find another woman with a hotter name than Myrtle? All right, Poole, do your thing. You hung over? Uh, a little bit, yeah. Okay, we're sort of racing to the end here. And with that, I shall step slightly out of range. All right, I'm just gonna take a quick swim. Oh, my God, where are the stairs? There's no stairs! I'm never gonna make it! You were standing earlier in the day next to the car that hit my wife. I would soon return to New York a changed man, because for me, that would always be the summer that I finally put my head underwater. I, I did it! I did it! Ah, I wish somebody had seen that. Giggity giggity, giggity goo. Stick around.